Then Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore, I say to you, don't worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. There is more to life than food and more to the body than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither plant nor harvest. They have no silo or barn, yet God feeds them. And you are worth so much more than the birds. Who among you, by worrying, can add a single moment to your life? If you can't do such a small thing, why worry about the rest? Notice how the lilies grow. They don't wear themselves out with work, and they don't spin cloth. But I say to you that even Solomon in all his splendor wasn't dressed like one of these. If God dresses grass in the field so beautifully, even though it's alive today and tomorrow it's thrown into the furnace, how much more will God do for you, you people of weak faith? Don't chase after what you will eat and what you will drink. Stop worrying. All the nations of the world long for these things. Your Father knows that you need them. Instead, desire His kingdom and these things will be given to you as well. Hi, I'm Lauren Cook and I am so excited to be with you today. This scripture is one of my favorites. These are verses that I have returned to countless times throughout my life and through so many situations. I cannot tell you how often people tell me not to worry about something. And what I really want to reply with is, yeah, okay, except obviously I'm gonna worry about it. Or I find myself saying to others, no worries either way, don't worry about it, when really I am actually very worried about both ways the situation might go, plus a secret third or fourth way that no one else even knows about. You know, a lot of people think that these 10 verses come down to one simple thing, don't worry. But first of all, I don't believe God is as trite as we humans often are. It is so, so much more than that. This scripture is about us and who we are and about God and who he is. For us, it says we needn't worry about food because God feeds even the ravens. But what else does he say? We are worth so much more than the birds. We are worthy. He says we needn't worry about clothing or appearance because God dresses the grasses and what else does he say? We are more beautiful even than the grasses. We are beautiful. We needn't wear ourselves out with work and worry about it all because what else does he say? We need him. And when we desire him, he desires us and he desires to hold our worries for us, to take our burden. So the next time someone flippantly tells you not to worry about something, keep your eye rolling internal and thank them. Remembering that don't worry is simply a reminder of who you are and who God is. You are worthy, you are beautiful, and you are His. Because of this, He is there to take that worry from you if you'll let Him. So let's practice that together today. Think of your worries that are extra heavy today and write them down, speak them aloud to God. But then say, I am worthy. I am beautiful, I am strong, and God's got this. Then let's walk away from them and trust that God's got it. It's going to be a great day, isn't it? And I'm proud of us, so let's go do it.